Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can call out specific events on a line graph. Okay, so in the previous video, um, which I'll leave a link to below, I explained how to create this forecast area here. Okay, now there is another application for these lines here which is to call out events that may have uh, need a narrative for sp specific data points, okay? So specifically, there might be issues when we've got peaks in this, um, in this maintenance cost here. So this is a line graph and it shows the maintenance cost and the maintenance forecast. Um, it's a fairly straightforward data model. It, um, it just has the date, it has the maintenance cost and it has the forecast cost. And in here, we have got a, a measure that basically differentiates. If there's a maintenance cost, it will show the maintenance cost. If there's no maintenance cost, then it will show the forecast cost. Okay, so really straightforward data model here. And um, all I've done here is added this in. And I'll, if you look at the previous video, uh, you'll be able to figure out how to do that. But I'm going to just make this chart a little bit richer now. We want to identify this high cost here and this high cost here. We want to explain it. Okay, so our management are interested in areas where we've spent particularly, uh, we've had a particularly high activity and a high area of spend. And we do that with this analytics. So we've already created an x axis constant line for the forecast cost, but we're going to go and create another one because you can create up multiple lines. So this one here. It's going to be for, I will say, uh, uh, what we'll call this, a, a lube oil cooler failure. Okay, so this is a specific event. Could be any event, but you, you've added a specific event. And in here, we're going to call this, we're going to put in a, a monetary value there. So we'll say it was on the 18th of October. So the maintenance cost for that week was 220,000. So we're going to say, okay, 100, say 115,000 of that cost was related to that. And in here, rather than um, use a, a calculation, which we use to calculate the current date, we're just going to use a constant. And we're going to say that happened on the 18th. So let's find the 18th of... October 2020. There, and we can see that we've got that information there, that line there. And um, we're going to add in uh, another one here for this other one, which is the 5th of July. And we'll call this um, a turbine failure. Okay, and we'll say that this cost was 90k, 91k. Okay, so you get the idea, you can add these in. And we're going to put this as the 5th of July. Okay, so we've got another cost here. Um, now let's go and do a little bit of work here. So I'm going to change the line color. And I want this to be red. I want to call out that that's the case. Uh, let's go up to the top here. We'll change it to red. And I also want to change the style of the line. And we're going to create a dotted line. Okay, so we want to differentiate between this forecast. Um, I mean, let's make this a bit redder. It needs to be uh, very red. And let's just stick up in the top corner there. Okay, and, and then we're going to create another one here. I'm just going to click on this Lubo Cooler one and I'll make that red as well. And we'll change that to the dotted line. Okay, so we've got these issues here, and then we want to go and display the data label. And we want to display not only the value, but we also want to display the name. Now we can see here that this is going to overlap this one here. So we might just need to play with this a little bit. So we're going to 
and we can change it by either changing this horizontal position or the vertical position. So it might be that we use both. So let's change that to the right and then let's put that underneath. And we can see that's at the bottom there. And then we'll go and set up the turbine failure. And I'm going to stick that uh, data label on there. And we're going to change that to value name. And I think I'm just going to leave it at the top there. Okay, so it just helps to kind of keep it clear of any of the other values and, and from overlapping each other. So now we can see we've got a really clear narrative here, really straightforward. There is another way to add a narrative that I'll leave a link to below. I've created a video for that. Um, but yeah, really, really start to build up some extra information. We've got the forecast here. We've got the, the, the a couple of events here that explain why we've had particularly high costs on these particular weeks. And that all helps to provide information to whoever's looking at this particular chart. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. I'd much appreciate that. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video. I tend to do that every week. Okay, so thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.